Hello and welcome to today's vlog. So this one that just starts with sunlight right outside. That's something we have not done in a while. <laughs> I just said, drop yourself out, Bob. I'm talking. So, welcome to today's one. Today, our video only was meant to be no, almost non existent. We were all done for work the entire day. Let's look at our lives. Thanks to the glorious wind that is getting my hours cut by work because by the time this guy shows up to my work, you know, walks around the place. I just conveniently like it was. Not because of he's real life, he's the kind of guy that cuts your hours so that his bonuses get bigger. Which, if you ask me, when you go around in a Bentley and walk around in Majority and shit and you're cutting up those bonuses, you know, to, for that, aren't you kind of a dick when, you know, none of your workers can afford shit like that, so. Yeah. Massive dick. <laughs> it's supposed to be my hair because I was about to take off, so it's Yeah. So it's dark work at four, I'll be here at half past two. So that's just over three hours. Like about three hours, isn't it? Yeah, just under that, actually. Because it's 36 minutes past 11. But. I know a lot of my vlogs have not been that great recently, probably because all I've done is sit and play GTA Online. <laughs> you know what, I'll find my horse for doing it with Corey. If I went whole way the lockdown happened, and my PS4 stopped working, that's all I did was play GTA Online. I kid you not, that's all I would be doing. I'd go out to school, I'd come back to high school, that's where I was at the time, and you know, I'd come back and that's what I'd do myself. That would, that would, that would end up being my night. So, I did consider today I'd say I've got three hours, I could redo my shelving, and I might actually pull the trigger on doing that today. I just need a box or something to hold all the minifigures. But I mean, that's what I'm going to end up doing today while I watch a lot of podcasts on the background. The only thing I watch is on YouTube, it's called um, Living with My Hands or whatever. Hey, what's up, There we go. So I think probably about nearly a month. The biggest change was in yesterday's vlog, I had to announce that I'd sold one of my sets. I sold the Temple of the Golden Idol from Indiana Jones. Why? Because, well... I would rather have the 2008 version. There's some things I don't need to of. Like, I will have multiple versions of these three vehicles up top because they're corner and loadable. But, I won't have multiple versions of goddamn the sail barge. Unless, of course, well, you know, just couldn't use the next one. And I thought, if I'm going to buy the 2008 version, like the original Indiana Jones lineup version of the Temple of the Golden Idol. I don't need this one, so the Cody for got seventy bucks. So my, I'm definitely buy something cool in a few days. Um, so we now got the wonderful Lego DeLorean. This is honestly, I love the way the doors open on this one as well. Ooh, definitely one of my favourite sets. Then we can turn on the force compressor. Love that. So right now I've got a long vlog managing because obviously I've been neglecting this channel quite a bit in terms of uploads. Like, yeah, if you're seeing this, it means all the ones I'm referring to that were neglected are going to be up, because they were all filmed also before this. But, yeah, so, the plans are watching the thing. <laughs> That's what I'm watching. Um, I'm always going to start the process, kind of, getting everything off my shelving. Um, obviously, what we're going to do is, some of the small stuff will go up there. Things like the B-Wing and, a, and a, the at AT, like, you know, Shit, they shouldn't be just lying on the bed because it will just tip over and break goes on the floor and has to be on a solid surface, so... I'll just get started on this, because if I've got three hours, that is enough time to more or less do it. 
many figures is gonna need to put in there. I need to find a tub or a box. I should have something somewhere. I'll try checking here actually. I'm wasting the time out. It's not good. Over. What else could I could do if I clean out all this? Oh, here's this box. It's like a temporary holding thing for the Lego figures. They're all gonna be like, they're all on the shelf. So yeah, let's get all of that in there. So I get all the figures in here, it means you know that I know where they are, it means I'm not chucking them on the bed as well, plus it I'm not gonna move all the sets with the figures in here, so yeah. It's gonna start picking them all off, even if I only get like the sets on and the mini figures have to go back on like tomorrow or well, maybe I'll do a few of them when I'm getting from work kind of thing, then that's what we'll do. Big chunk of them are down here. And in between doing all this, see, I might get one of the reviews filmed in advance. I think the one I'm going to do might be the 2012 TIE Fighter. And I've got a review coming out on Tuesday, so maybe I can hold off a couple more days. Just need to figure out timing with all that, but this vlog immediately won't go the last one. So I suppose that's a positive thing we can point out. Does it? It's pretty rare, many figures in there, very valuable ones. Honestly, I'm counting down days till I get to use my new shelving like that I bought over two months ago and I've not actually used. If you guys remember back those vlogs, um those were doing other ones like painfully annoying because like damn these are good. I can't use them though. <laughs> not for a long way. But you know, we're getting closer. I am removing them from sets as well in case I decide to go for different layouts or just so I can clean the sets as well. You know, I've got Paintbrush that I use for doing that kind of thing. But again, I thought, I kind of thought, yeah, I'd like to change the shelving a bit. So, plus we've got a bit more space. Yeah, even though I bought a new set and sold the set, I still kind of mapped that I was having a bit more space. Because the DeLorean is a bit more versatile, where it can go versus that other set, you could never put it in one of these canaxes or anything like that, it would have to only go in one of the long bits of shelving, which I've used the kind of primary real estate as far as not sets can go, so yeah. So this clip is 10 minutes, I'm going to cut the camera so it has a bit of space. And once the uh, other vlog is merged, I mean, we'll be golden for more filming, so there's that. But I suppose a good thing is I'm quite quick at doing all my shelving and stuff, so this you know, shouldn't waste a whole bunch of time. I leave the figures on the droid character or paint to take off. Of these Jedi mini figures. So. These are some valuable figures now. These days the Palpatine's are rest mini figures. Um, just 
put them there. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go. Um, most likely see you once a whole much more of this has been completed. So yeah. So yeah. So good news is, by the way, it is 11 minutes past 12. It's still got a good time. Not everything's off the shelf. I need to go for, but I was testing something. As usual, I've been keeping the Jabba's Palace and Sail Water and Fighting Town. You can see they're all yeah, I've removed a few other things as well, but how cool do they all come there? That looks nice. I will be adding many figures. I'm thinking I could get the BCS B Wing and the Home One Darth Vader here for Return of the Jedi make Empire here, and then just go down the way. Means I'll have a Clone more shelf again, which I don't not had for a while. I'm actually going to be utilizing the Kallaxes as well properly, so I've got a few ideas. This is looking really nice already, like, I like this a lot. Plus it means I can connect, like, I don't know, that shelf just fits really well in. The other sets are a bit more on display. Dorian is back down here, so, more well, just continue, you know, kind of removing sets from the shelf. I'm debating if we want to continue the incorporation of that at the moment. Um, this, this is... Falling off and then falling off the floor. Oh, I need to take Luke Skywalker off that anyway, so yeah. That is all the many figures we were um, There's another one there, though. There'll be occasional ones I just missed when going through. There's some sets I'm not going to write back in the bed because I'm already saying where they're being moved to. That's going up there. Set before, not a bad day outside. So also the gunship, turbo tank and ATTE are going to go in different places. Um, I'm going to try and see, I'll just move some other shirts off. See this is maybe part of my attempt to make this one a bit longer. Well, it's no more to do. Like, I do... I, want, I do enjoy having them set up by like what film or like what source material they're from. Um, in terms of buying a set soon, I'm going to try and avoid, avoid buying anything from Star Wars or Clone Wars in particular. So not having a space, I'm going to have my new shelving. And I'd rather prioritise the movies, as much as I do on Clone Wars or other random figures I forgot the first time around. I changed my mind, I'm not going to stop with all this to film videos because I feel that's just a bit stupid and that it won't work. I won't post. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, I think that's all the well so far, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put you guys over here. I'm going to take down all these big Republic vehicles. I've always put more other shelves, just so they're going away and they're not on the bed. It's the ATTE mode, then the turbo tank. I've just put those two on the shelf below the gunship will go on the shelf and leave that. Not as a permanent display, but just like temporarily to go figure something out. Right, and then there's all that snail tank that's up there. I need to fix that, I think. So, I've got all this top shelf, which I'm going to go get my duster. Try to go in. There's over here somewhere. It's off, it's this way anyway. There it is. This display right here should work as a monitor that areas where it won't look so good. I'll cover that up. Right. So, not entirely sure what combination, but I'm going to look at the home one and then the UCSB link. So let's get that home one over there. Um, I do actually need to fix it. I'll put it back together. Because it's in two sections. Uh, 
pull these over here. Then if I get caught on Burberry, can actually film some of what I'm doing because these vlogs just haven't been the same recently, um, for the last month or so. So I've been trying to get back at it. So that's the hanger section, we just need to come back to that section, so let's get that done. Let's put it down, not to bother it, put it to a second, but I need a mini ball pan so that the ball can come in right over here. Right, there we go, another flipper that kind of got hidden in it, one moth mat. There we go, right, let's connect these sections, so pins go in there. Right, this one for there we go, and they're connected. Kind of the last time I had this set completely connected. Right, so I'm going to try and put that on for it. Right, so I'm going to try and show how that looks, and then we're going to have to do the fun part, which will be the UCS B wing. I say fun parts are kind of stuff like so. It's kind of where those ended up. The home one. You one can kind of go in the corner ish. I don't know. So let's get the thing over. I'm dreading this. I don't, it's not a set that I like moving. Let's see. I'm trying to move the stuff that's surrounding the B wing as well. So these two. Uh, Mid scale sets need to go. Oh, that's a tent of breaking in my hand, that's not that's not good. Uh there we go, just one only one piece of uh, by three pieces came off the tent of. Right, moving the B-Wing. As much as it is the weight of the set, it's the weird proportions and how the weight is distributed that I don't like. In fact, since I could lift the other one with one hand, I'm going to remove the whole one for the B-Wing up first, because the B-Wing I need to, I can't just drop down. I need to kind of maneuver that into where I want it, kind of thing. Okay, I think I've got this working good. Yeah, I think this is gonna work. Oh, nearly fell back. <laughs> So we've got one shot where I want it to be. Return of the Jedi stuff. Look, this looks amazing. Very happy with that. So I'm gonna try and work on some other ones just for to show you what we've got going on on so far. Um still watching that. 19 minutes of it all left, so maybe I'll update you in 19 minutes. I don't know yet. Um So I'm gonna get back at it. I'll see you guys very soon. <laughs>